Okay, in our first question, we're going to evaluate that power with the base of negative 27 over 8. And the exponent is negative 2 thirds. Well, the first thing we do is we recognize that a negative exponent is going to become a positive exponent if we take the reciprocal of the base. So we can make negative 27 over 8 into 8 over negative 27 and change the sign of the exponent. What we can then do is figure out the third root of the base. Exponent of 2 thirds means we're going to figure out the third root of the base and then square our result. A third times 2 is 2 thirds. Well, we have a fraction as our base and an exponent of 1 third. What we can do is determine the third root of the numerator and the third root of the denominator in order to evaluate the interior of this square bracket. So we, uh, we recognize that we want to determine the third root of 8 and the third root of negative 27. The third root of 8 is 2, and the third root of negative 27 is negative 3. Well, now we're in a position to square the result, because we recognized at the start, when we were finding the third root, we were ultimately going to have to square it. So 2, to, 2 over negative 3 quantity squared is going to be 2 squared over negative 3 as a quantity squared. 2 times 2 is 4. Negative 3 times negative 3 is 9. So the original expression of negative 27 over 8 quantity to the exponent negative 2 thirds is equal to 4 ninths. That leads us to our next question. And this is, looks like a real doozy at the start. But uh, if we take our time and evaluate each uh, part of the expression separately, it's pretty manageable. 16 over 81 uh, as a quantity to the exponent 3 quarters means we can evaluate 16 to the 3 quarters and 81 to the 3 quarters. In other words, we evaluate the 3 quarters uh, as the exponent on the numerator and the denominator. Now, we can take uh, here we have a negative exponent of neg negative 3 fifths. What we can do is take the reciprocal of the base and make the exponent positive. And so we do that. And we recognize early on that 125 to the 1 third is 5 because that's the fifth root of 125. Okay, now we focus on this part of our expression. 16 to the 3 quarters is like saying 16 to the 1 quarters cubed. 81 to the 3 quarters is like saying 81 to the 1 quarter cubed. 1 over 243 to the 3 fifths is like saying 1 to the 1 fifth and 243 to the 1 fifth, each of those quantities being cubed. And our uh, denominator that we're carrying along for now is 5, still. 16 to the 1 quarter is 3, 81 to the 1 quarter, or sorry, 16 to the 1 quarter is 2, and 81 to the 1 quarter is 3, because the fourth root of 16 is 2 and the fourth root of 81 is 3. We still have to cube each of these. The fifth root of 1 is 1, and the fifth root of 243 is 3. But again, we still have to cube each of these results. And again, we still have to divide everything by 5, because that's still there too. So moving along to the next, we see 2 cubed is 8, 3 cubed is 27, 1 cubed is 1, and 3 cubed is 27. And so this is our expression, still over 5. 8 over 27 minus 1 over 27 is 7 over 27, but again, that expression is over 5. So that's 7 over 27 divided by 5, which is 7 over 27 divided by 5 over 1, which is 7 over 27 times 1 fifth, which is 7 over 135.